Welcome to Future Genix. Before we speed ahead, if you're excited about delving into the future of transportation and more, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Now, let's dive in. Railways? The arteries of many countries, allowing the heartbeat of transportation to persist. For decades, they've been symbols of progress, development, and connectivity. But as with everything in the 21st century, there's a race for the crown of the fastest. Today, we're pitting two heavyweights against each other. Bullet trains and maglev trains? Bullet trains. The Shinkansen, or as we popularly know it, the bullet train is not just a train. For many, it's a symbol. Japan introduced the world to the Shinkansen back in the 1960s. What made it stand out? It wasn't just its pointed nose. Mimicking a bullet's aerodynamics it was its breathtaking speed, covering vast distances in record times, making it a game changer in intercity transport. Imagine covering the distance between New York and Washington, D.C. in just an hour. Now, the bullet train's mechanics rely heavily on traditional tracks. But it's not so traditional when you delve deeper. The tracks are precision engineered, and the train's design is fine-tuned for aerodynamics. Every element is there to reduce air resistance, minimize noise, and, of course, maximize speed. But what speed without safety? Bullet trains have an impeccable safety record. No small feat given they operate in an earthquake-prone region like Japan. Advanced seismic detection systems, automated brakes, and meticulously planned routes ensure that even Mother Nature's wrath rarely disrupts the bullet train's journey. Now let's pivot to a train that doesn't just run but floats. Enter Maglev Trains. The name itself gives away its magic trick. Magnetic levitation. Unlike bullet trains that rely on wheels and tracks, Maglev trains have no wheels. Instead, they float a few inches above their guideways thanks to a symphony of magnets. The repelling forces of these magnets not only allow the train to levitate but also propel it forward. No wheels, no friction, and what happens when you remove friction from the equation? You get speeds that sound straight out of science fiction. Germany and Japan have been at the forefront of maglev technology. While there are operational maglev lines like the Shanghai Maglev train in China, they're not as widespread as their bullet counterparts. But when they do operate, boy do they dazzle. Maglev trains have been recorded to reach speeds even beyond 600k in test settings. That's almost twice as fast as the commercial speeds of bullet trains. However, it's not just about raw speed. The absence of wheel-on-track friction means Megalevs offer a smoother, quieter ride. Think of it like gliding on air because, well, you quite literally are. While the speeds are jaw-dropping in the tech, is downright futuristic. There are challenges. Building Maglev tracks is an expensive affair. Plus, making them compatible with existing infrastructure. That's another hurdle. By now, you might be forming an opinion on which train takes the crown. But hold on to your seats, because the story isn't over. Remember, speed is one thing, but sustainability, cost, and adaptability are vital players in this race. As we steam ahead into this comparison, we'll dissect more than just velocities. Because in the end, it's not just about being the fastest, but also about being the future. Do you have early bets on which train will emerge as the true titan of tomorrow? Drop your predictions in the comments below. Diving deeper into the mechanics, the roar of a bullet train speeding past is unmistakably thrilling. But have you ever wondered how it achieves those impressive speeds? The answer lies in the train's engineering and design. By reducing the frontal area and elongating the shape, engineers have optimized the bullet train for minimal air resistance. This streamlined design Paired with powerful electric motors and high tensile steel tracks, it allows the bullet train to maintain its speeds without consuming an exorbitant amount of energy. It's like shaping a sports car for the racetrack. Every curve matters. And it's not just about speed. The train's advanced suspension system guarantees passengers feel minimal jolts or vibrations, ensuring a comfortable ride. Now contrast this with the Megalev. Instead of being streamlined for air resistance, its primary design challenge revolves around magnetic fields. The basic principle is straightforward. Superconducting magnets on the train's underside repel magnets on the guideway, levitating the train. This removal of direct contact means there's no wear and tear from friction, potentially reducing maintenance costs. And of course, allowing for those mind-bending speeds, its physics turned magic, infrastructure and costs. While both trains boast of incredible speeds, the infrastructure needed for each is vastly different. Bullet trains, while requiring precision-engineered tracks, still use a format similar to traditional rail systems. This means they can sometimes utilize existing railway corridors, reducing construction costs and time. Maglevs, however, are a whole different ballgame. Their tracks or guideways are unique and cannot share corridors with traditional trains. This means constructing entirely new networks, 
a time-consuming and expensive venture. Add to this the high energy needs of the powerful electromagnets, and it's evident why maglev systems are limited in number despite their impressive performance. Safety, environmental impact. Both train systems prioritize safety. We've already touched upon the bullet train's impressive safety measures, especially against natural calamities. Maglevs have their own set of safety features. With no physical contact between train and track, the risks of derailment are minimal. Their elevated guideways also reduce the chances of obstructions on the track, be it vehicles or natural debris. When it comes to environmental impact, trains in general are seen as a greener alternative to air or road transport. However, while bullet trains do emit less carbon dioxide than planes, their carbon footprint is still significant. Maglis, if powered by renewable energy sources, could further reduce this footprint due to their efficient use of energy. Public perception and acceptance. A technology's success isn't just about its capabilities, but also public perception. Bullet trains, having been around longer, are generally accepted and have become part of the cultural fabric in places like Japan. Maglevs, being newer and less widespread, still carry the allure of the unknown. However, as more people experience their smooth rides and rapid speeds, acceptance is growing. Before we speed into our final, take a moment to ponder if, given a choice, which train would you bet on for the future? And while you're at it, don't forget to give us a, like, if you're enjoying this ride into the future of rail travel the future and beyond. So where are we headed in this high-speed race? It's evident that both bullet trains and maglevs are evolving in their own lanes, and the world seems big enough for both to coexist. Bullet trains have decades of trust and infrastructure behind them. As, as newer models emerge, they're becoming faster, more energy efficient, and even more streamlined. They've proven themselves over time, and this track record can't be ignored. Innovations continue, with efforts to reduce noise pollution and further improve energy efficiency. Their integration with other transportation networks is also a massive plus, allowing for a seamless travel experience for passengers. Megalevs, however, are the shiny new toys of the rail world, while their speed is undoubtedly their selling point. There's more to them. The promise of lower long-term maintenance due to the lack of friction is a huge boon. Plus, their potential for even greater speeds some prototypes aim for speeds over 600k means that they might just bridge the gap between air and land travel. The adoption of either system comes with challenges. Land acquisition, especially in densely populated regions, is a significant hurdle. For maglevs, the initial investment is astronomical, which makes many governments think twice. Bullet trains, though more affordable in comparison, still require substantial funds. Moreover, the debate isn't just about speed. It's about viability, sustainability, and integration with existing transportation systems. It's about weighing the pros and cons and considering the long-term benefits and impacts. So bullet trains versus maglev trains, who wins the race? Well, it depends on the criteria. If it's pure speed, maglevs might have an edge. If it's about trust, reliability, and an established network, bullet trains are currently in the lead. But one thing's for sure, the future of transportation is exciting and both these trains have essential roles to play. Now let's throw the question back to you. Given all you've learned, which train gets your vote for the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this high-speed journey with Future Genix, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share with fellow speed enthusiasts. Let's keep riding into the future together.